Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back with World of Tanks, and I am in the Chaffee, which is an American light tank. Final tier light tank. I don't actually do too many videos with this bad boy. I've done a couple, I think, but I uh, actually don't do a lot of videos with light tanks, mostly because the way I play them, uh, I suppose in a way is not really all that entertaining to most people. I'm not a suicide scout, nor should anyone ever really be. I'm more so about trying to light up targets mid to late game or harass artillery. This is a King of the Hill match, so at this point in time, I'm just going to see if I can do a little bit of peekaboo at the top of the hill, see if anybody's going to roll up here. And you basically want to be an early warning system for your fellow tankers. You want to let them know where the targets are at. You want to light things up for artillery. You want to stay in the game as long as possible. You don't want to camp in the background. You don't want to be a sniper. Hit and run maneuvers. You actually don't even want to fire all that much, to be honest. You're not here to kill. You're here to just light things up and harass if you can. Uh, sometimes switching to HE is going to be your best bet. See, like right now I'm using this high up forward position to light targets. And see, there we go right there. But we want to back out a little bit. See, we just took a shot. Do not engage. They're obviously heavy tanks that we don't really want to deal with. Uh, I don't have this guy fully upgraded. I don't have the bigger gun. So we just want to work on maintaining stealth tactics. The lighter tanks do maintain their camouflage a little bit better than most tanks. There is a T-29. If he's got the 105, he could definitely put some hurt on me, but we are doing a good job just keeping him lit. Uh, I don't think we're really going to get flanked from up here. But... Um, T29. I don't know if that's... I don't think I lit that guy up, but... So here we are. ARL44 coming in, so we do have some heavy backup if we need it. And... No dice so far. Okay. Oh, there's another one. It's another Chaffee, though, so honestly... I can throw some fire his way. Because we can take a chaffy. And he's toast. Remember, when you fire, you basically lose the majority of your camouflage abilities. And it looks like they're just going to go in for a bull charge, which is fine. At this point, this means we can perhaps try to have some fun. They do have one artillery unit left. This is where this bad boy can fly downhill. Great maneuverability. Turns on a dime. Oh, those guys are lit. Now, you want to be careful. Your natural senses kind of want you to keep going because you're going so fast. Oh, come on. Let me get that artillery piece. But you have to almost control yourself and and stop. You have to slow down a little bit, use your speed at the right time, break behind cover if you need to, duck, dodge, weave, whatever. <laughs> Although, tank can't really duck now, can it? Figure of speech. I can toy around with this guy. Why not? Game's almost over. AT. Looks like that one went right through. Penetration. That guy's going to have a bad day. Penetration. And he's done. Very well done. Mopped the floor with them. That, for the most part, is how I play with light tanks or the Chaffee. Um, I'm not amazing with them, but I try. Uh, it's just kind of, you're a spotter, 
and you need to stay alive. The people that want to suicide in the beginning of the game, it's pointless. You're always of some value. Even if you you think, oh, I'm the lowest tiered tank here. I'm going to die. You know, just if you can spot something for somebody else that's more powerful than you, especially artillery, then you can still perform a job. So as you can see here, you detected this enemy vehicle, uh, thereby granting me, uh, you know, bonus points for that. Damage by allies to enemy vehicle you spotted. So I lit this guy up. And see, damage here keeping them lit uh, through spotting, doing a little bit of damage myself. We can see that there. And then, of course, uh, taking out that artillery piece. So, you know, we had a job to do, and we did it. Now, you know, that one was a bit more entertaining than most games that I tend to end up in as a light tank. You know, sometimes... I, I choose to not make videos of light tanks because a lot of times it's not it's me not shooting. I'll be sitting somewhere hiding in a bush or something like that and just waiting uh, for targets. But uh, I still need to get the next gun. Again, I just haven't been playing with this unit, so that's why I don't have it. Uh, this is the one that I've complained about in previous videos because it does have this hideously horrible, disgusting if you will turret that never existed on the chaffee and uh, I, I really wish they would do away with it and i mean just i don't know make this be the upgraded one because that's the one that the chaffee actually had and uh, it just looks perfect like that so might be nitpicking but there it is but one thing i didn't mention i'm sure most of you are aware of this is actually with the camouflage patterns the biggest complaint in the past was that well they didn't do anything and they were just cosmetic but obviously now if you click on them you can see that Vehicle visibility on, well, summer type or whatever environment maps will be reduced by 5%. So now when you're actually painting your tank with camouflage, no matter which pattern it is, it's actually going to grant you a camo bonus. So higher chance to stay invisible if you're playing correctly. And, of course, the ability to paint and maintain that pattern uh, throughout the different environments is always a nice touch. I haven't bought any yet. I will for my main tanks. Uh, I think I'm going to wait till some of the patterns go back on sale because they tend to do that a lot. Let's bring in the M18 Hellcat. American Tank Destroyer. And I haven't been doing too many videos for this guy either. Couldn't tell you why. It's a really great tank destroyer. Very fast. In fact, uh, fast enough to fly with some of the light tanks, honestly. But... Uh, Packs a pretty decent punch for its tier with a 90 millimeter gun. As long as you know where to aim, you can bring in a world of hurt. So, all right, with this map, I'm trying to get my bearings here. Don't forget with the uh, plus or equals and minus keys, you can expand your map. Take a look at uh, your situation a little bit more if you haven't been doing that. I think I'm going to go forward a little bit and hold this front line as long as I can get cover. Move out. I do have the speed to beat most everybody to the position. As you can see, this thing accelerates fast. And there's another mistake somebody just made. They decided to use the physics and fly off the hill there, and they damaged the track. You don't want to go crazy with the physics, guys. Air on the side of caution. Alright, so we got to be careful with these trees because people are looking out for the shrubbery. And then, see, this is, can be problematic because this guy wanted to be here as well. In which case, he's actually going to end up just being my meat shield. Remember, if you're dealing with somebody who gets in front of you like this... Use it to your advantage. Don't worry about it. Don't get mad at them or anything. It doesn't matter because, if anything, they're going to get shot at first. And you can use them for cover. Kind of like this guy's using me for cover. And that guy's using him for cover. <laughs> but everybody's just hanging down here. So we're going to wait the first few minutes to see what we've got going on. Also, what I also want to work on is... Whoa! Got a little distracted there. I've got no... Oh! And there he's going in front of me. So we're going to use maybe his front chassis as some cover. 
he'll be lit now because he fired. And if anything, he should be taking some shots. If there's something engaging, we have a piece of artillery. And that's just a crew miss right there, unless he's behind a rock or something. I'm going to go for a blind shot. I know there's a tank destroyer right there. No dice. All right. That looks like a... All right, M36. I'm going to switch targets. Wow. What are you doing, guys? Waiting on the reload. Bouncing on the M36. Not too happy with that. He's behind a rock now. I'm going to scold my crew when I get back to the garage. All right, have patience. I was aiming for the artillery piece. We took out the TD. I'll, I'll, that's fine by me. I'll take it. There we go. All right. Maybe I won't scold you guys. You made up for your mistakes. All right. KV-1S is taking large amounts of fire. And, again, err on the side of caution. You have a gun. It doesn't mean you always have to drive into the enemy base. We are winning this match, but I've seen sillier comebacks. Uh, I've got a large amount of heavies on the other side. Tank destroyer holding down on the left. He's taking fire from the left side, mostly from that M18. He won't last long. It's made out of paper, of course. Oh man, kill steal. Faster on the trigger pull than myself. Dicker Max, that guy needs to go away. Nice Use this rock for cover. Angle my front armor to promote a bounce. There's another one. We'll get some assistance on that. SU 18 is down. I believe their base is free. We do have a light tank harassing artillery back at base. And I think while I am fast enough to go back, the logical thing to do here is to get everybody on cap. So we're going to get into the circle here. And again... American tank destroyers, glass cannons, you know, use as much cover as you can possibly get, even if that means using your friends as cover. They do it to you, you might as well do it to them. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> and see, I mean, we're getting a, a really great quick cap here, so... For whom? The bell tolls. Okay. And there's our victory. Let's take a look at uh, some stat statistics here. As you can see there, I guess that's also showing how many shots you got on target. Amount of damage. Team score. So 713 damage caused. Four pens, direct hits. Five out of nine. So I missed a couple of shots there. My crew isn't 100%, but they're close enough. Uh, to be able to do their job and the like. So let's bring in one more. I think I'm actually going to use something that I haven't played with in a long time. I actually don't even know if I've had this in a video. This is actually uh, another variant of the Sherman. It was a prototype tank that I don't think ever really saw service. As you can see, it has a different wheel design uh, than most Shermans. Uh, of that era and this was actually a beta tester gift so if you beta tested the game for North America I think uh, Wargaming gave everybody this tank uh, I never really as you can see the crew is not even leveled up I don't have all the equipment loaded up on it not exactly a favorite of mine it's just it's kind of whatever I mean it's all right I think it's just I've mostly kept it because it's a gift and, and it's rare you can't ever get it any other way you can't purchase it so I'm going to load up on some extra equipment there, and uh, let's go ahead and play with it. We, gun's pretty weak. Um, 
for ranged shooting, it's not amazing. But let's get to it. Um, I do want to take some time to, uh, you know, speak to you guys as viewers. Um, a lot of times I'll get a lot of in-game messages. Uh, and sometimes it's doing what I'm doing now. Most of the time it is doing what I'm doing now. It's filming the game. And I, I kind of made it a uh, habit to not respond while I'm playing. And sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. It really just depends if I'm busy or not. But, uh, you know, please don't take it personally if uh, I don't answer a question or something. But, again, I've learned a lot about this game by simply playing it. I learn more by looking up websites and guides and reading through the forums and watching other people's videos. Uh, I can't answer everybody's questions. I mean, there are times where I'll return from a battle and I'll have, like, five messages about how to play a certain tank. And I don't know how to play all the tanks, guys. Uh, most of this game is common sense. If you have common sense, you will win at this game. I mean, it's it's so simple. It's not even funny sometimes. It's a very simplistic game. It's slow paced, and <laughs> we managed to track that guy. Ah, oh, that was a bad shot. And yeah, okay, so. We don't want to be too much of a silhouette on this hill. So, what are we doing here? Okay, this looks like assault mode. Most of the heavies went in that direction. We're a little... Eh, we're almost even. But I think I'm going to take up on this side. But, you know, there's a lot of great websites out there. If you go to the forums, the official World of Tanks forums, you can look up... Uh, you can search for tanks. You can search for guides, tutorials, video. A lot of people post their replays. Watch other people play the game. You learn from that. Each tank, in some cases, plays differently. You know, some heavies play similar to each other, but... Uh, they all have their own little quirks. And uh, there can be a learning curve for each one. And they also play differently depending on, you know, what kind of upgrades you've got going on. Alright, I'm making my movement a little late here. But I'm going to try to meet up with the rest of these guys. Hopefully I'm not too lit. There's no artillery. Let's use this hill for some speed. Remember, it doesn't hurt to have your turret facing the enemy. That way, if by some miracle the shot rings in uh, or comes into your turret, the heavier armor of the front Oh, the turret will take the shot, and that's an easy eight. He's hit. And what I'm going to do is try to get off this hill, because we've actually entered a really bad position. Alright, we just lost him for some reason. PZ4 kind of backing me up. Uh, again, we kind of want to try to get into some sort of hull down position. If you're using American tanks, hull down is pretty much the only way to use them. Dude, you have to zoom out a little bit more when you're driving your tank. Pay attention to what's behind you. I have a better chance of penning the M18, so we're switching targets. Blind shots. We've got a Churchill to deal with here. Uh, not sure on the situation of the M18. Going to switch targets. Oh, he's back. Hit, but no dice. That one went low. What do we got? Easy 8. Showing a bit of his flank. Again, as you see, we're bouncing some of those shots. Because, why? I'm trying to take a hull down position and only expose the turret. Uh, those two shots, though, I've got two that looks like they went into my hull. And then we've got a couple, perhaps, bounces off the top of the turret. Although they look like pens, but... We didn't take sh uh, damage to the last shot. We are going to lose this game, though, apparently, according to the... <laughs> loss of the rest of my teammates. Alright, so I don't know if anybody stayed back, but 
they might be trying to come around me here. We do have this PZ4 carcass. Alright, let's see if we can do anything right here. Alright, there you are. I don't know if I can get near this VK. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, we're not going to last very long. Oh boy, this guy's going to eat me alive. That's been nice knowing you. Uh, let's see if we can make him miss a shot. At least pull him into some friendlies, I suppose. Pull it back. Let him still have to come out. If he wants me, I want him to go out of his way. And there we go. All right. Well, that was a pretty craptastic game on my part. Really a bad location to be. But, in that tank, you can kind of see why I don't play it too much. It's, it's, you know, it's the equivalent to having a premium tank. You don't take too many losses on it. Um, but it's nothing to write home about either. It's nothing that I, I, I enjoy. I can't say that I enjoy playing it. I just thought I would kind of take it for a spin because I I haven't played it in a while. Well, see, this guy, what's he doing wrong, guys? He's got his side armor facing the enemy. So, people get lazy. He didn't want to turn his armor front. And if anything, my death was an example of me lasting a bit longer than I actually should have. I did bounce quite a few shots in the beginning of the match because I had hull down meaning my turret was the only thing exposed and my toughest armor was facing front. You want this hull at an angle. You want that turret facing the enemy. Now this should be interesting. I want to see how this works out just because we're going to see some physics action here. The VK getting pushed all the way down. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is fantastic. A uh, good attempt on the EZ-8, though. He's trying to angle his armor a little bit. I have to say, well played on the EZ-8. It looked like he knew what he was doing. Uh, <laughs> he just used that momentum of the hill to completely push him, perhaps throw him off on his aim a little bit. But uh, So what did we do there? That was a pretty poor game on my part. 16 shots fired, only 7 were direct hits, so... Um, some of the misses my fault, some just the accuracy of that gun, pretty poor. It's a medium to close range gun. Uh, so using it at the ranges that I was, not a good idea. And okay, damage upon spotting. So nothing spectacular, but even with a defeat, uh, as you can see there, you know, repair costs and whatnot, no big deal. And I like how it shows you, oh, this is what you would have had if you got uh, premium. And again, there it is. So, yeah, you know, you got this from uh, being a beta tester. Crew's not 100% yet. Uh, maybe it could be fun sometimes. It's pretty quick. You know, it does all right. 52 kilometers. Speed limit. Eh. Meh. That's pretty much what it is. It's a meh tank. So uh, I don't know if I'll, I'll be playing too much with that one in the near future. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. And I will definitely see you on the next one.